to do my very best to deliver the message or i'll just pick one or two of these cards and then go to the tarot um i might also use my deck the soul alignment oracle card if you're a reader or if you want um just a fun deck with a lot of clues let me know so that you could check this deck out well let's see Okay, Cashmere, hold on. Let's see, what are the messages for the collective right now? Is there any encouragement for the collective? Any warning or messages for the collective? All signs? Okay. <clears throat> we have a blessing of time. I feel like someone could be creating something um, and you feel like you're running out of time or there's someone trying to meet a deadline. It could be like a wedding coming up or you could be a clothing designer or some sort of an artist or some sort of a freelancer, possibly. There could even be some documents that need to be um, turned in soon, some paper documents or an email that needs to be responded to for some of you. Some of you need a little bit more time with a garden project or a lawn, maybe the lawn at your where you're moving into or moving out of or something. A blessing of Lisa. I don't know what that says. That's why I don't really do these ones, but I love these cards. So let me just read from the book, a little excerpt from the book on these cards that we just pulled to try to get a little bit of clarity what this is about. Okay, okay. Come on. Card number 45. What about card number 50? That's so weird. It stopped. Oh my gosh. Did it stop at card number 45? Oh my goodness. It's not going to tell us what card number 50 is. Oh, that's because there is no 50. Wow, that's a 30. Sorry, guys. I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm just trying to get the message out. Okay, so the fairy gift of the midsummer energies for joy, friendship, and the flowering of life's bounty. The blessings of the feast of the fairy are given to encourage you to take this day and drink down its sweetness to celebrate your own life and to bring a sense of being beyond day-to-day -day cares. To dedicate at least a portion of this day to the divine acts of celebration and connection with enchantment. May the blessings of the festival known as Lethia be with you today. No matter what day or time of year it is for you, friend. For the gift of Letha or Litha is the gift of celebrating your life, living to the fullest, and resisting giving in to those who would ask you to hold back and live less fiercely. Yeah, I like that. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it could it could um, talk about like it talks about um, sharing conversations with a friend. Um, loving yourself, treating yourself lovingly on today. Smile at a stranger. Say a kind word or two, even if they didn't ask you for it. And feel the energy, the positive energy of the universe. Feel it pour down on you today. It's a blessing that will see you connect with flowers 
and the natural world and feel uplifted by the interactions with nature. You will feel a part of it all and the day will be long and good and sweet and filled with unexpected blessings of joy and kindness. So it's saying that the doors between the worlds will swing wide open for you. And this is a blessing. For when you dwell in the blessing of Lutha energy, plenty, beauty, spontaneity, love, and joy can be yours. Let the present moment expand. Let the ripeness of your life speak to you. And may you make the very most of this life you have been blessed with. No matter what time it is, friend, the blessings of Litha are with you now. May you enjoy them to their fullest degree. <clears throat> A blessing of time. The fairy gift of expansive time, sufficient to do all that is needed, full enough to experience all joy. Time moves in cycles and patterns that are inherent in nature and in the cosmos. When you receive the gift of fairy time, you too will slow down and yet be able to do more and easily for the stress of the human clock hours will fall away. You will smoothly navigate the time available to you and the pressure of what must be done and by when will be solved by time expanding in amazing ways. Fairies have this gift of time bending and shaping and they offer it to you now, fairy friend. They offer you this ability to be able to sit within an expanded hour knowing that there is sufficient time for you to do what is to be done. So you may focus more on what is most precious for you to do, most worthy of your thoughts and energies, and know all will flow. When this fairy blessing comes to you, there will be a flowing quality to the days, a sense that all is unfolding and that all is well. You will have opened up more time and in healthy, meaningful ways. You will find the time to care for your own self, to share time with friends, to celebrate and to love. All that has troubled you and pressured you will come more easily to you with this gift. So that is that. That took us seven minutes. So I hope that encouraged or uplifted someone today. A blessing of time. That means that you will no longer feel pressured by timelines, time restrictions, or due dates. Um, once you engage in this energy of time expansion but also you need to remain positive uplifting encouraging to others be in that fresh energy of just joy and you will see changes some of you are going to receive a new opportunity just by meeting timelines meeting deadlines without being stressed out you'll be putting more positive energy into your work and you might be offered a new opportunity. And then I have the card alchemy. Um, also synchronicity, this is going good. So it's like once you accept these blessings of time expansion and these blessings of self-care, self-love, um, love for friends, love for family, acknowledgement of the universe, of, of um, signs that the universe sends, it's like you are becoming a a sort of an alchemist when you choose to transmute negative energy into positivity you become an alchemist the universe wants you to know that you have the Midas touch right now and every project that you begin turns to gold period and pray pray and talk to the universe talk to the divine talk to your ancestors communicate with the spirit realm which is your ancestors your angels and with God, the creator, your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. So when a new opportunity comes over you or comes crosses paths with, with you, don't take it as a hoax. Don't take it as a joke. 
don't take it lightly, but know that these are the doors that are being that have been opened for you. The human body is a computer. The spirit is Wi-Fi. When the device breaks down, the Wi-Fi signal is still active. So you could be sick in your body, but your mind will still work. Allow your awareness to shift. Meditate and study. <coughs> Just like I told you earlier, pray. Pray, talk to the universe, talk to your angels, to your ancestors. Use the gift of alchemy and you will reach higher vibration. And But you gotta allow your awareness to shift towards positivity. We also have, you are not lost. You are being guided, stay on the path. Aren't these great cards? Yes, I love the messages that came out. And then the last card that came out for you was soulmate. So the new opportunity could be with a high level soulmate. You might have experienced a bunch of delays in your um, romantic life are a bunch of drama in your romantic life but spirit is moving you forward to a higher level soulmate or to higher vibration in your soulmate relationship you could be currently with a soulmate and spirit is asking you to focus on the positivity and to shift your awareness possibly even to hold on to this person at this time that you are with and to um hold on your money hold on to your money Possibly stop investing in things that that are old. Stop investing in old relationships, old friendships. Stop spending your money on things that have nothing to do with your business or your home life, your immediately your immediate family at home where you live. Whoever helps you, you can help them. Look out for them. That's how you're. That's how you stay fruitful, and that's how your finances will flourish and continue to grow because you are going to be spending less money on things that don't matter. So let that be the truth for you. You can accept that, receive that, and do that. Don't spend your money on things that other people are encouraging you to engage or indulge in. Then we have, <clears throat> yeah, so this could be talking about drinking and about, um, you know, trying to keep up with the Joneses. We have nine of cups, three of cups. There's nobody for you to impress at this time. At this time, spirit is, is probably confirming for you that some of the people that you are around, it's like something going on, like maybe um, too much fashion awareness, too much um, awareness and chitter chatter about, what do they call that when they say somebody is, what is that word when you're like all about um materials like no more focusing on buying material things at this time or indulging in party situations with friends and family toxic negativity toxic activities yeah just don't indulge anymore in like who has the best clothes who has the best shoes who has the best this? Who has the best that? Right now, it's time for you to shift your consciousness and your awareness to a more spiritual approach or shift your awareness to what is the business that's brewing down inside of you, not on the outside of you, but what's going on with the inside of you. Stop being so focused on what other people are doing and saying about you or about themselves and you just be all about yourself. Worry about yourself and take care of yourself. Love yourself and change your own situation. Starting on today, um, it was very nice chatting with you. 
but I think your message was, it was a beautiful reading and I hope that something in this message helped you. Sorry, I started out a little rocky, but I'm gonna start using these cards because I absolutely do love them. I just need you guys to be patient with me as I find words while I'm being inspired by the pictures I see and the words on these cards. Um, <clears throat> tarot card reading does not come easily or any type of, um, you know, decoding messages. It's, I say it's not easy. The messages come, but they flow in so many at a time. It's like, which idea do I go with? And so sometimes I don't know what you guys need to hear. That's why I ask you to keep me encouraged to keep, and to thumbs up my videos or leave a comment at the bottom or something so that I can know I'm on the right path because sometimes I don't know what to say to y'all. But I'm not going to stop. I'm going to continue to go um, and do what I have been called and led to do, which is to give someone else a sense of security in their situation when other people could be treating you know, my viewers, my subscribers treating you bad or giving you negativity about yourself. That's not what I'm here for. So bear with me as I bear with spirit and we just gonna keep doing this. I'll see you guys next time.